get this started. So I am making food from every single country in the world and I'm going in alphabetical order. I'm in the letter B right now, cooking a dish from Bangladesh. So a Bengali viewer reached out to me and said, you gotta look into this thing called mustard curry fish. I did look into it and it's uh, one of the most popular dishes in Bangladesh. It's uh, even a variation of it is considered the national dish. And fish is very commonly eaten in Bengali cuisine. So, uh, well, yeah, I'm all on board with this one. The goal is to always try to be as authentic as possible on this show. Like I wanna make sure that I'm using the right ingredients, ones that are found in the country that I'm making food from. I wanted to use some Bengali fish, fish that is commonly used and, and found over in the waters in Bangladesh. I was looking for either Hilsa, Ilsa, Hilsa, or a Rohu. And uh, yeah, I found Rohu. But it was frozen in a big block and I've let it thaw out and uh, about a pound, 500 grams worth of Rohu steak. And there's just water everywhere. Let's dry them off a bit. Just wanna get it like about a teaspoon of turmeric and a little pinch of salt. Mix that, okay. Just like cover them up. So let the marinade begin. So half a large onion. Just gonna super roughly chop this up. Half a large tomato, or just, I'm gonna use a medium sized tomato. And again, I think I'm just gonna roughly chop this up. Seven to eight cloves of garlic. Just a few seconds ago, I was bragging about how great it was that I found that fish. Well, how about this? This is two jalapeno peppers, and I have to use these because the recipe states green chili and I couldn't find the green chili that they actually mean, which is like found in the regions out in Asia and like the Thai chili or whatever. I'm just using the jalapeno peppers, which are not as spicy, but I figure that if I just like up the ante with using two rather than just one, mixed with uh, a little ground cayenne pepper. Now the recipe is intending it to be a little spicy, I believe, and uh, I think using these, I'm gonna get to where I need it to get to, even though I'm not using the right green chili pepper, which I'm pissed about. Maybe I'll just leave the seeds in here as well, just so uh, it's as spicy as I can make it. Of course, mustard seed curry needs mustard seeds. That's turmeric. <laughs> now, I've never used mustard seeds before. One tablespoon. I mean, let me just do this so I can look at them. There we go, this is everything I need for the next step. I wish I didn't throw the mustard seeds on the cutting board, but I did, so I don't understand the things that I do sometimes. Shit. Get them off the cutting board into this little bowl here. You know, when you have mustard seeds, don't act like a child and throw them all over the cutting board, just keep them in the tablespoons. I'm gonna be stepping on these for the next year. So in a blender, I'm gonna add in all these things. So blend this up into a paste. Okay, it's got a nice kick to it. That's what I'm looking for. I needed it to be spicy, but to make up for the lack of green chili, a pinch of cayenne pepper, just to give it that little slap in the face that I need. Hell yeah, that's nice. So I'm just gonna use this dish today. Works for everything. Another important ingredient to this recipe is 100% mustard oil. I'm still stepping on mustard seed. Over in Bangladesh, this is something that is used quite frequently, but over here in North America, uh, well, it has a warning. External use only. Pressed for the finest select mustard seeds to produce a legendary massage oil. Uh, I was kind of shocked when I brought this home and I was like, oh, what the hell, did I buy the wrong thing? I think it's just not approved to be like sold as a food over here. So that's why they have the warning there. It's very strange, I don't know. Maybe I'll die, maybe I won't, but I'm gonna use it today and uh, we'll see if I make it on the other side. So I'm gonna add around three tablespoons. One, uh, two, and just a bit more for good luck, just because if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out with a bang. Uh, like medium high heat. I don't think I've ever smelled that smell before. So fry the fish. One minute per side. Flip them over. Okay, so after two minutes, I'm gonna take out the fish. 
And then I'm gonna add in this paste, a quarter teaspoon of red chili powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric, quarter teaspoon of cumin, and like a quarter teaspoon of salt. Cover for two to three minutes. So I'm gonna uncover, add the fish back in. Look at the neon. Get it all up in there, yes. In goes one and a half cups of hot water. Very gently stir it around. Cover and cook for five to seven minutes. Just picking up the mustard seed. Smells fantastic. Finish this up with cilantro and some rice. Order up. Enough making this look pretty. Let's eat. Oh, hell yeah. Mm. Took no time to make. And it's next level. The only thing slowing me down right now is the bones and the fish. It's not like an overpowering flavor of mustard or anything. It's unique to me. I've never tried anything like it in my entire life. Bengali cuisine is really heavily focused on fish. So I'm glad I found the right fish to make that happen. Whoa, I slipped. The firmer fish, it like held together while I was cooking it. Then you just move a fork right through it and it's just, it's all yours. I was told that you could use salmon to make that if you don't wanna like go out of your way to find the Bengali fish that I was using. Loved it, would recommend. Uh, if you wanna check out more in this series, I'm gonna link a playlist down below where I'm going to all the countries that I've made so far. You can check all those out, A through to where we are now. Uh, the Patreon supporters right here, supporting the show. Uh, their names are scrolling by, and if you wanna check out what that's all about, there's a link in the description. And I think um, that's all we have. That's it, that's all I got. I'll see you next time. Bon voyage, peace.